Good day everyone. Um, I, I, I know it's been a while and I seem to be apologizing every time I do a video because I have uh, too much time in between them nowadays. Uh, but um, I did this uh, video quite some time ago but I haven't uh, actually put it up on YouTube because I was waiting to finish it off. Uh, so I'm trying to make a mold and here I have some plasticine and uh trying to, to what the what the plasticine was meant to do was it was supposed to um protect my plank my plank my um blank is the word i'm looking for uh so it's supposed to protect it and seal all the sides because you kind of push the object into the plasticine and it's supposed to stop the silicon from kind of running underneath it and creating those annoying flaps that you have to cut cut up uh, cut out afterwards um, so I'm kneading it and I'm rolling it here this is just uh, a cardboard uh, inside of some sort of a something so but it was pretty pretty tough so I could it was no problem rolling it it was just a, a problem doing it afterwards but anyway i've got my plastic i'm taking the plastic off and miraculously it is a perfect rectangle rectangle so i'm popping it in there and uh all happy you know yes it's all happening and then there goes my blank not my plank my blank <laughs> and uh, just pushing it in oh gosh it is not easy to push that thing inside there and even though i got uh, most of it in because it wasn't perfectly leveled the blank that is uh the 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 ends were kind of sticking up a little bit so it was pointless doing that so i ended up ditching that whole idea but anyway so i've got my i think i lost uh, part of my my video here mm, that's interesting i ended up uh just putting tape just a clear tape over it and just kind of rubbing my my fingers uh around the edges to make sure that that's sealed properly so i've got my silicon uh two-part mixture here it's one to one ratio so i'm just mixing it together now and making sure that it's all mixed and because you can't really see it's not like resin when you can see those stringy bits and you know that you're not uh, it's not ready yet so I just kept mixing for quite some time probably about five minutes and then I thought oh, I, I'm just gonna go with it you know so there it is uh, ready to be poured in and I thought I'd just start uh, because I don't know why it just looks too pale for me so I thought I'd put a little bit of uh, tint in there but it didn't do anything I only put one drop in there and then I thought oh I don't want to mess about with it because I don't know how the silicon will react with the tint it might not set properly so I left it white so it's okay so just going around and cleaning the surface a little bit and ready to pour my silicon in the hell exciting it is really exciting doing stuff like that and you can do anything you can do anything um, you make a mold out of pretty much anything so just making sure that that is the tape is kind of um, uh, uh, stuck onto my blank and just going around and just taping that plastic because I've got plastic underneath it as well easier to pull out afterwards um, you know you think of all these things and I tend to do that I tend to think about what could go wrong uh, sometimes I don't quite get some things you don't expect some things to go wrong but uh, the things that I think might go wrong like how am I going to pull this out once it's done so yeah I just got my my plastic in there it's just like thick clear plastic and just going around with my stick and poking it in there just to see how deep it is now because I'm such a cheapskate <laughs> with my materials I sort of didn't really want to use all of that in there because it looked thick enough already so I saved some to do uh, a couple of little 
molds and then I went running like a chicken with a head chopped off just trying to find something to make a mold out of. Good day everybody here we are this is the next day I pulled it out of the uh, the mold or the tray rather and I can see I've already started cutting through there that some areas the silicon actually leaked like here so what I'm going to do is I am just going to use my stylus knife and just cut this very gently because this is going to be the bottom anyway of the of the mold it's not going to make a huge difference I hope I might actually take this plastic off now I just don't want to dirty it but what I'll do is I will it off and then pop this on top of it uh, just to keep it clean you know I don't know if I've got any nasties on my table what is that ah oh, that's the tape I see that is the tape that I put on there let me if I can pull that off now. See what happens. Pull it off with a trying to cut myself. Alright, here comes the tape. okay I'm back actually I found the end for the tape so I just pulled it right off it was okay so I'm just gonna cut that there and cut this one here I don't think it's gonna be a problem but yeah you, know, you never know you never never know that's why you have to have a go that one's just the same already Let's see if I can pull it out Wow, it's really, really cool. And all the, the paint, <laughs> my beautiful white mold is going to be look dirty because I've got that paint that kind of came off the, um, the blank. All right, but that's all right as long as... Oh, this is really interesting. Oh, bugger you. It's so tricky to get it off and not damage. Because I've got those little, little bits inside. But you can probably hear the, that sound is my heater I've got my heater on in here because it's a bit cool I might have to just go like this slowly gently oh gosh it looks dirty on the other side oh no don't like that maybe I can wash it because it's just paint sorry I just gotta be gentle here Try not to damage the mold, although it seems pretty sturdy. Maybe I can do this one from the other end. That way I'm not pulling like crazy on one on one end of it. Oh no, that's good. That's great. I'm pulling myself here. Oh, there it is. Look at that. 
I like it, except it's just yucky looking because that paint came through. Um, but uh, no, it looks pretty good. I'm not worried about these bits here not being perfect because that's going to be the bottom side. If I ever use it, I just wanted to check this out. Wow. Alrighty, so I'm going to try and give this a wash and see if I can I can wash that paint off. If not, then I'm just going to have to pour some resin in there and see what happens. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let me know what you think. That's actually not not bad. I'm, uh, I've never made a mould before. I made some... Well, I suppose I made a couple of moulds, but, you know, they weren't that great. Nothing to write home about, if you know what I mean. Alright, bye for now. Alrighty, here we go. Pouring time. Um, just want to see how it works. I don't know. I, I just get excited about making something myself. I know other people do it all the time, but, you know. So I just wanted to... Oh, oh, you know, because this has got the indentations in there and I could just go around and do a few drops there and wait for it to set and then do another one, which is probably what I will do one day. But for now, I think I just want to paint uh, the whole thing or at least... Yeah, I think I'm just going to do the whole thing in... What color? See, this is a tricky one. Might just do the whole thing in gold. Let's make it funky. Because I can always go and paint afterwards. Oh, I don't need that much gold. Jeez, Louise. Too much. In my little cup it goes. I just mixed up too much resin for this. Just really didn't plan this right. I'm excited because there's another project that I'm doing, making a little shaker, coaster shaker, so I only need a tiny <laughs> little bit of resin for that, but I've mixed like 200 milliliters, which uh, is a bit too much. So I'll be able to do this with it, plus um, another couple of coasters probably, or at least one coaster. All right, let's go. Let's just see what happens here. Just want to pour it in. Well, that's looking good. So I might just do the gold there. Like that. And that's going to slide down a little bit. And then I should just mix up some more colours, eh? Let's do that. Do the red as well this should be funky let's do the red shiraz liquid tint or oh, liquid uh, rather pigment one two three ooh, four or five went in there they just pop out so that's going to be really nice too with that gold won't be using any white here. Oh, that's nice and transparent. I know it doesn't look it, but it is. So I'm going to have some of that. And uh, let's see. So I might just do uh, down here in the gold as well. The, yep, let's just do the gold down here as well just going roughly now and then i'm just going to help it out with a stick and then that's going to kind of move and merge get my stick with my little pointy bit push it all the way Down. Try not to scratch my mold. I'm just being gentle. Let that push up a little bit more. 
And uh, right, what's happened there? That's pushed a bit too much. All right, let's go in with the red. Right in the middle, that red should push the gold up a bit. That's looking pretty cool. That's really cool. Now let's give these lions a gold head. Well, here I'm almost out of my gold, which is cool. What goes really cool with the gold and the think, think, think. See how that gold's floating on top? That's because I didn't put it right into my transparent. I put it on the side and it's moving all by itself nicely, which is really cool. But that's the bottom side. <laughs> that's not going to be the top side. All right, that's looking really awesome. Uh, let's go around with some more red. Let's just pop this red everywhere. a little bit more okay now we're still on yep okay so I've mixed up a little bit more red I'm just gonna let it push down so this is a little bit a deeper color. So put a little bit extra in there. I'm just going to go everywhere a little bit. Now let that spread nicely. Need some more here. Alrighty, and I need to get some more of that gold. I'm just going to mix a little bit more. Okay, more here. Looks like I'm going to have to mix up some more gold. Bit. Not enough. Alrighty, let's do it. I didn't think it could fit so much in there. I mean, it doesn't look like a big, deep sort of mold. Okay, here we go. Bit worried about this side here because it seemed to be draining down. I don't know why. Maybe I need to put a popsicle in there. Okay, I think I, I, think I need to take it out. Yep, let it do its thing. Wow, that's really cool. So, what I'm going to do. Yes, I really like that. That's looking so cool. But what I want to do is just go like this a little bit with my stick. Make sure I've got some more gold. Done 
doesn't seem to be level, seem to be falling over this way. I need a paper or something not as thick as this thing to actually, if I could slide it underneath. All right, sorry, thinking out loud, let's just get a paper. It really doesn't need anything too big. Just gonna get a little paper and lift it up a little bit. There we go. Straight under the plastic. Should have thought of that before. Yeah. Where's my brain today? This is not going to stay like this. We all know that. I just want to help it a little bit. And it does help in the bottom. Like these flamey looking patterns. Let's heat it a bit. I think I have something in here that I need to pull out. Possibly. No. I think because it's cold in here and I, I sort of, something's happening on top of my resin which is not cool but um nothing I can do about that now right very cool put a bit more gold up here so that that pushes that down a little bit pretty cool This is really cool. Oops, that drip wasn't meant to happen. I think I'm going to leave it like this. No, no, I won't. Hold on. Let's get some more little lines here. Interesting to see what it looks like on the other side. Well, let's see what it looks like tomorrow when I unmold. Yay! Good morning, everybody. It's the next morning. Oh my god, I can't believe that cracked. That's a crack there. How the heck did that happen? Oh, wow. Why did that happen? That is so bizarre. Why did it? It's probably too thin and probably because it's so cold here. But let's try and unmold because I want to sit. Oh, no, I cracked it there as well. Oh, no. That is not cool. All right, I'm not taking it out. I'm just going to pour some resin over the top of it. I just want to see what that underneath looks like and that's cracked there as well it's not that thin you guys I, it's got to be because it's so cold here you know that is not super thin like this is about the same sort of width actually and uh, it didn't crack mmm what I'm going to do is, I'm going to pour some clear. I might need to sand it just slightly. I usually don't, but I will this time because I only want to put a nice clear, uh, sort of a thin layer of clear on top of this with the really thick resin and, uh, and kind of dome it a little bit or something. 
and then leave it. What a shame. I'm so disappointed. You guys, I'm so disappointed that that has happened because I really... Oh, here we go. Cracked again. Okay. I'm going to leave that now. Not going to play with it anymore. And then uh, <clears throat> maybe after I do my clear coat over it, maybe I will just, uh, when I go to unmold, heat it a little bit so it's more flexible. It is cold in here and... Wow, what a bugger that is. <laughs>